Am I <laughs> good? You're good. Uh, You're good. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ryan, uh, I was an actor in the movie, and I did some promo art stuff for it. Awesome. Uh, Drew, I'm the writer, director, DP, editor, producer, so forth, of uh, Backroad. Uh, Tom, special effects and executive producer and uh, psychologist <laughs> <laughs> of the film. Uh, Kelly, costume stuff. Awesome. All right. Very minimal. <laughs> Welcome back, Insomniacs. It's Curious Cyclops. And Steve. And we have um, our first return guest. Uh, we got some guests from uh, Back Road. And uh, actually, earlier today, I accidentally called it Back Street. So uh, Andrew, of course, had, he knocked my tooth out. So you're getting an exclusive of my new smile for the show. So yay. All right. I'll dig you a hole, fucker. Ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you see? So All right. <laughs> So, guys, uh, last time we had a little malfunction of an episode, so it kind of became a picture show. But uh, what's happened since then? I know, obviously, you've been continuing to promote the film. Um, so what are your plans right now, uh, especially for releasing it? How are you, what are you guys looking to do? Oh, that's me, I guess. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, right now we're going to uh, different conventions. Uh, Horror Hound is our number one stop. Uh by March of next year, it's going to be premiering at uh, Horror Hound. So that's, that's awesome. That's uh, our first step. We're going out there in August to do one more promotion for it, and then um, right, you know, in a March premiere, it, man, fucking, hopefully everyone loves it. I mean, that's the uh, the way we got to do it. So we're not doing the fall anymore. This fall? Yeah. Maybe uh, for casting crew, but right. you know, for. Just action. for the high ups, yeah, the five star. Yeah, like the people that made the movie will have a mm -hmm. premiere by the end of this year. But um, a lot of people saw it. Tom saw it. Um, it's not scored right now, but you know, it's it's on its way. So, do you have someone in mind for yeah, scoring? Because yeah, that's we, one of my favorite parts of a horror film. Yeah, so. we have a a guy out in Colorado that's going to be working on it. Um, should be done by the the end of the summer. You know, it's just these last few minor touches that we have to add to it you know to really polish it up make it sellable you know not your typical indie movie that's shot for you know what we shot it for you know ten thousand twenty thousand you know somewhere. and for people that's that don't know um what camera did you go for to make this movie uh the sony fs7 all right it's awesome. uh, shot in 4k um, S log 3 which people are just like what's that but it's um uh, it's done you know correctly you know a small crew but we we did this, this is our crew yeah <laughs> basically right. yeah. Yeah, yeah actually yeah. that was gonna be my next question how <laughs> many people all together uh how many people put their efforts into Three. this movie so. <laughs> all right that sounds good <laughs> three whole people <laughs> no i mean i think there's a lot of people behind the scenes you know that uh help you know make the you know make it a reality we had a lot of people yeah. that were supportive like that weren't, weren't even on set, like uh, his uncle um, yeah. was a huge part of getting the film made. Um, my parents know. Dude, too. even your mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your mom parents. and dad, the food that they would make us. and. Oh, yeah, we, we ate like kings. We didn't, you know, make, you know, we didn't make any money, but we ate we <laughs> pretty ate, good. Paid in, paid in tacos. And yeah, tacos. Delicious and, tacos, too. We had Alfredo, spaghetti, everything, you know, <laughs> a whole you know, crazy menu You know, every weekend. It wasn't just one thing. You go on sets and you get pizza and a bag of chips. Yeah, you know, what, I don't yeah, yeah. everyone gets to share one pizza <laughs> yeah. for a 15 hour uh, yeah. day. So I won't mention any names, but I was on a film set with 25 uh, people and they got a DiGiorno pizza. I'm still on sets. Wow. Now. DiGiorno pizza. <laughs> DiGiorno. <laughs> order. Crazy. But we, we ate good. You know, we had uh, multiple things to eat per, per night. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner usually. Anna Ryan, I've just been seeing a lot of um, you, obviously, in the promotions. Um, oh, yeah. I noticed you had a really interesting shirt. I think there's someone here that could tell us a little about uh, the design of that shirt. Oh. Uh, and, and your name, of course, <laughs> since you're new My to the show. Kelly. 
Hello, Kelly. Hello. Where'd she come from? Uh, you're, <laughs> you're talking about the, the Nazi pig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was a crazy Well, I think, design. well, I was sitting at home and I read the script and I was all excited when he sent me it and I pictured this character in my head and I wish at the time I had a beard. I don't know why I was, I didn't have a beard at the time, but um, I was like, you know, I'm going to, I asked Drew for permission if I can make the, the character design, like do my own outfit. And he said, sure. So the first thing I thought was, I need to have a giant swastika <laughs> on my chest throughout this entire movie. So my lovely lady over here was a cartoonist. Yeah. I said to her, hey, can we somehow get this like pig cop? And he's got this like giant swastika like cop hat on. She's like, sure. So we drew it up, and I got obviously found the worst tank top I had with like, mm -hmm. holes and like, you know, cigarette burns in it and stuff. She drew it up, and then we took we we took it to this it's, this like screen printer, and they digitally printed right. because it's hard. You can't, yeah. you know, you don't really you can't really go to someone and be like, hey, can you print this yeah. giant? <laughs> By the way, I'm not a Nazi. Yeah. Before <laughs> someone cuts everything out of here, and they're like, this guy's a Nazi. The guy's in back row. No. I, I play a bad guy in this movie. The Nazi is the yeah, bad guy. The zines are going to be going after you. Yeah, guys. yeah, all yeah. the zines. But yes, I we we wanted to make sure. I was actually inspired by um, Otis's design in right. House of Thousand yeah. Corpses when he's sitting there and he says, "Burn this flag." I'm like, I need a shit bag. Yeah. Like a shit bag T-shirt for this. So Let yeah. Known. <laughs> yeah, we did the the cowboy hat, the hair. And then pretty much myself. Yeah. And, <laughs> which, is, yeah. which is one crazy motherfucker. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah. It was oh, a yeah, good time. Is. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool, man. Drew was very, very open to a lot of suggestions. Remember the, the harmonica scene that we oh, shot? Yeah. Like, we came up with that on set, and that scene came out fucking. It, it's awesome because, like, you know, he's not a, a real actor, but he could basically act no. out. His, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He could act out his. Uh, his role, you know, and it was awesome to see that from someone that doesn't have training. You know, he's just, you know, he got into that character because he loves the the character and the the genre. And I'm sure yeah. your experience on stage playing in some bands where you got to be really crazy and sporadic. I'm sure. Oh yeah, you most, pulled from that most too. of the stuff that yeah. I did, like I don't really have. I guess you could say I have kind of a resume. Like when I was a kid, I was in school plays and stuff. Yeah. And then I was a scare actor. Oh yeah, for, that's for, pretty like, cool. For years that. at Oktoberfest, it's right down right. the road. Sweet. I'm sorry for what I said about you. Oh, he is an actor. Yeah. <laughs> I just never went to school, and I yeah. only really care about horror movies. I yeah. don't, I don't want to really act in anything else. So um, yeah, as soon as he gave me the opportunity, I was all for it, and and he was very open to a lot of my suggestions about my character. And the character really didn't have too much depth, you know, it was a very minor character. Very minor script. character. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until we saw what he was capable of, <laughs> we, we, we added, you know, seeing yeah, there, there was you know, we added just because of <laughs> we what actually, he was doing. We, there's, there's a few characters like that. Yeah, we actually threw him into multiple scenes after the fact, like, that he wasn't supposed to be in, just because, like... He he's so fun to have on film. You know, Aww. he carries a movie, not carries a movie, <laughs> but helps carry the movie. Yeah, I, you know, I can say and, this. There's, you know, in, in other films, you'll hear people say he's just like a scene stealer. Like mm, he, he's mm, just oh, not like sus. a B or C role. You're making me blush. <laughs> but when when you see him on, you know, doing what he's doing, and to the people that he's doing it to. It's pretty fun. I yeah. thought what's his name did a pretty good job. My brother and Rowan. Oh yeah, Rowan. He, 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 he also steals it. I mean uh, that dude, he was like act like a fucking retard. <laughs> and this dude was seriously acting like he was Can fucking we retarded. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, go well, ahead. Well I mean he's supposed to be <laughs> Well yeah, 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 yeah. You know, inbred you know Yeah, and this kid Laura. like he was <laughs> He just turned some switch on in his brain, and he was acting like a moron, yeah. and it was amazing. He went dude, full retard. He did, he did. dude. Like, he's like, we even said that on the like, film. Like, he went full retard on that scene. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And um, there was a couple that you added with him, too, right? Yeah, there were a couple of scenes that we added with him. That dude, I, I could say this, that like when we first started it, like they were like some like C-role characters. And when the film was done, they're my two favorite characters. We were even talking about, like, we should do a spin-off with these two characters. <laughs> How about some action figures? That's, what are you signing off That's that? actually we're, in the talk yo, right that now. Would for, a, for a limited Blu-ray release, first 200 copies. That's actually yeah. in the talk right now about sculpting, <laughs> actually, Ryan and Rowan. That would be sick. Yeah, <laughs> right? No way! Get that <laughs> <autograph>. <laughs> 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 you, no, no, man! So yeah. it's, 
my hair stand up. That'd be a on, dream, dude. We still have show. that design, right? The pig? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we still have that. We were thinking about doing those shirts. And I don't know. Way, I don't know if we could. So, but here's the thing: probably Puppet could Master sign. uses the the, um, yeah. the swastika. You take and, that and like, bitch, you know, I guarantee you. It's, not, it's not like I'm the good guy, and they're like praising me, and I'm like, here is this. Yeah. But but yeah, we were thought about. I remember Lloyd Kaufman oh, yeah. actually <laughs> told me I had a sticker over the shirt. And we were promoting Horror Hound last year, and Kaufman like ripped the sticker off the shirt. And he's like, who cares about that? <laughs> Kaufman's yeah. Jewish. <laughs> Kaufman's Jewish. Yeah. So. Absolutely. He's but, a very good friend of mine. So. But oh, awesome. shock value yeah. stuff. Yeah, we you know love trauma, saying? so. That's great. Mm. People always, it's like, what's that one shirt, too, in house? He's wearing the shirt. It's like cheap ass Halloween costume. And, and yeah. what's his name? Uh, oh, and uh, Big Trouble in Little China, Kurt Russell's. Mm-hmm. His, his, uh, his shirt. Like, I like that in movies when, when people are wearing, like, like, I, like, that character has that t shirt. You know and what I'm saying? I like think it was that's, actually, that's the cool thing, I think. I think it was a smart move because even when I sold a shirt in a trailer, my first instinct was so many people are going to check out this movie just because of that shirt alone, I'm sure, even. Because, like, <laughs> but, you know, because a little bit of controversy helps promote. It does. So, it does. I mean, look, Dead Snow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, Nazis are yeah. bad guys, and bad yeah. people, like, you know, like, have your bad guy be bad. Yeah. Plus, you know, like, have him be bad. And, and that fits like. in with a horror film. Because yeah. Nazis are horrifying, so yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think that was a smart move. And uh, also, when I was watching the trailer, I noticed um, you seem to your character seem to be having a real hell of a good time. And um, a lot of the time, you see killers that maybe don't say much, and maybe they're more serious. So it was refreshing to see killers having a good time. Oh, so I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm oh, expecting yeah. enjoying a bit of that. it, and it's hard to pull yeah. off, but it looked great. So I'm excited to see. You know yeah. what? Well, Especially if, that if one. Party, it's like, it's like a party for him. Yeah. 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 yeah, the one. I, yeah, like, I can't really mention what it was, but the one scene that we added that I came up here for. <laughs> oh, you're. Oh my god, oh, you're I mean, a pig in like, shit. You know, dude, that <laughs> scene when we did that, that was. Oh, uh, and it came, it came out. Did it come all, out? It's all yeah, cut it's yeah, yeah the, so cool. The yeah. gore, the gore in it, and the way that his blood looks on on um. Film, your blood looks amazing on film, dude. Thank you. And it's funny, it's almost it almost looks like the shitty CGI blood, but it's real. Like the CG, the shitty CGI blood from um, what is it? Um, Midnight Me Train. <laughs> oh my God. But his blood's oh, real. It looks you, you will movie. not think it's real. That's how good his well, his blood looks. Yeah. Like we said this before on the podcast, it looks so real that we fooled the state police and yeah, yeah, team. yeah. I love that story, and I'm glad and that I that's been getting out. <laughs> So um, people I've, know about it. Yeah, I've been telling people even word of mouth, but that is a great story. But um, I did deliver do you, do some pizzas touch, to those touch guys too. Touch base on that again. Do we want to? Yeah, tell if you the story if you again? want, go ahead because there's yeah, going to be people seeing this that haven't seen the last one probably. Uh, so go, you can brush on it. Yeah. Oh, so what happened? Oh man, you can well, tell that one. Oh boy. So um, basically, what happened? We went up and shot this very you know graphic scene. You know, a lot of blood. And um, we had permission. We did have permission, and granted, this is a 20-minute drive in the woods on a dirt road that we barely got up, you know, and, um, you know, we we weren't expecting anything, because usually you call, you know, police if you're screaming somewhere public, you know, where people could hear you and call the cops, because you don't want cops coming to your set, Mm -hmm. you know, it's delaying everything. So, um, you know, we're in in the fucking backwoods of Schuylkill County at the stripping pit, owners there and we filmed the scene and um it was the last scene of the weekend i believe Mm -hmm. and we came back home and later on that night i was washing up the the truck from the from the uh shoot and um my mom calls me and she's like were you guys up at uh, raven run today and i'm like well yeah raven runs you know a huge area you know a just wooded area and we you know we shot up there and we got full permission from the uh, the company that owns that land and she sent me this article and I read it and I'm like holy shit and it's like a dive team investigating you know a crime scene up in Raven Run and I'm like oh boy this isn't you know this might not be good this is late at night too 11 30 12 o'clock at night so I'm just like I'm, I shot all weekend you know three days in a row I'm like, he okay. called me up at like 11 30 12 o'clock <laughs> he was like dude I think we're in some trouble like I didn't he told me the whole story and then I was like Fuck you and hung up on him. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Yeah. 
And I, I couldn't believe it either. I wouldn't believe it, yeah. I'm just, like, I'm just like, oh boy. I mean, we were up there and people saw, you know, license plates and whatever, you know, because we ran into the quarters and people on dirt bikes and all that. And um, the next morning, I read the sto- article again with a clear mind and I'm like, you know, I should probably call the state police and see, see what's going on. So I called the state police and they said, you know, we found blood and... You know, there's, you know, we sent, searched the stripping pit for a, a body. You know, cost the uh, county about $25,000. Woo! Yeah. Or, uh, <laughs> so that point of your production value, taxpayer right? money. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, fuck yeah. Helicopters died. Yeah, Mac would brought to you by the taxpayers. And some guy yeah. got mad. No. Yeah. yeah, and, uh, <laughs> you know, we, we explained ourselves and told them exactly what happened. And, you know, what surprised me the most was what the cops said about the crime scene. They were like, how did you get the blood to splatter like that? Because uh, it great. literally looks like you took someone up there and beat them to a bloody pulp. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, we've hooked it up. Well, I don't know if I could tell it, but, you know, we just sprayed it, basically. Yeah. And um, he's like, well, that's pretty pretty good. You fooled us, you know? So They, they um, even took samples of the blood. Yeah. I was, I was hoping, so I was like, hoping he didn't, like... imagine what the, what the results are going to be? Corn syrup. Yeah, right. <laughs> what is this? Corn syrup? <laughs> what the fuck like, is what corn syrup? Like, what's this person like they're or something? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um... Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, but, the, like, the next morning when he, like... I woke up and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> He's fucking... You were telling the truth. Yeah. From, and then I was like, dude, like after it was all said and done with, I was like, you need to call them back and tell them that there's a lot of other places. Oh, yeah, we, we had three days of shooting and three locations covered in blood. <laughs> so we uh, uh, we did, um, I don't think I ever did call it back dude, about that. I couldn't imagine like some of the nights when we were shooting and like... We're at your house at like 4 a.m. Oh, and yeah. And all you hear is chainsaw and <laughs> scream. I remember we were doing a wood scene and I was drenched like mm-hmm. in, in blood and gore. And I had that shirt on and my hair was down. And I was walking back to his house <laughs> and I'm like, if someone fucking like, looks out their window right now, they're going to fucking shit their pants. Oh, yeah. Like, Here's a good like, one. <laughs> we, we were just like wrapping up. We were cleaning up. It was like 7 7.30 in the morning uh, from like... What, 15 night hour night shoot, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was a mess. There was like intestines like ripped all over and like all the organs and like gallons of blood all over the place. And his dad just walks out. <laughs> I was going to remind and you. just like looks. <laughs> he's looking like, oh boy. And then he's just like, <laughs> and then just turns around and walks back in. Yep. <laughs> like, Dude, I remember when we... That's, I hope you fuckers are gonna clean this up. That smell. Well, actually, a neighbor's dog cleaned most of it. Yeah, up, came that back smell? and. Oh my god! And the it was, meat. Oh, oh, can I that, say anything about that? Or? Well, what we did was, uh, it was like our last minute thing that we wanted to add. Um, a go- we, yeah, we didn't yeah. have like time to go and make all the intestines because mm-hmm. the first batch that we used already got like all messed up. So, um, he was like, "Dude, we need like twenty-five foot of intestines, you know, to do it." And I was like, "All right." So we went to a butcher and was like, hey, do you have any, like, big intestines or something that we can have? They custom made our um, piece of kibasi that was Yeah, it was, like, like, it was like, super long. <laughs> and his, his mom boiled it to get the, and it was, like, <laughs> sitting in all the caro syrup and oh stuff. Oh, my God. And then we had, and, like, all oh, the pork. It was it a big box of, so, like, you know, <laughs> trim. You know, from the butcher shop that the guy gave me. And it was free. all over us, too. And, like, it was, it was just, like, soaking in the water and shit. I well, had, I had a lot of fun spraying it. It was, no, it was, that, that like scene was kind incredible. Of I mean, I took off, every time that we did a scene, I took off work. Because my job is, you know, I'm out at sea, I work on boats. So, yeah. every, t- every time I did, I specifically took off for, like, certain scenes and stuff. I'm like, I'm coming up, I'm doing this. Like, <laughs> It's just too good. You'll see. Well, I, I don't want to. I don't want I can't really say anything. The movie, yeah. the movie starts out pretty disturbing, and we, I, we wanted to say, okay, we don't want it to ever slow down. So it just keeps like building and building. I like it's to just, hear yeah, that. Just scene after scene after scene um, after scene, like delivered. Do you think delivered. there's any? Um, do you think there's a couple of kills that might really offend people? Oh like, yeah. yeah, I was Absolutely. just curious. I figured yeah. I'd ask. The one, All the right. one there's, is like gonna make people sick. There's a, it's there's, gonna like it, is. it lasts for about right, good. three minutes good. of the film. Um, it's disgusting. It's, it's, our, our whole thing was when we first got together, we were like, 
we're gonna make a film like the way it should be made. Like we don't want a horror anything. movie that should be mm. the way. It we're should not be. trying to put it in theaters and stuff like that. Mm. We just want to like show people like how to make a horror film and and not cut anything out. Um, we've seen a lot of films that were like you know every film that gets put in the theaters is always tri- like cut up and you always hear like you know like there's like two three four minutes of film that's like taken away. And it's always the gore and horror. Well, Friday the 13th movies, you know, like, you know, so, they always cut it out the gore. Yeah, you know? and then you it's get to like, see it later on. When that's it's why like, I would like, watch it, you know? I wish they would have shown this. So that was like that was one thing that we all like agreed on. It was like for, for us to come on part of it. Like we want to do it the right way. And we, you know, we yes. don't want it to be cut, you know, anything like that. Worship so, the gore. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> this movie worships gore. We're gore whores. <laughs> but, um, so, gore yeah. sluts. Gore sluts. That yeah, I'm like, sorry, not whore slut. <laughs> that was the main thing. So when we started talking about like some of these um, kills and stuff like that, and we were just like, man, like there, you, you, you know, there's a new movie that just came out like in the film festivals that was like people were walking out. Lars von Trier. And people the were house like, the Jack like, oh, built. Yeah. That looks um, okay, but... Well, I heard they shoot movie. kids in it. That's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah like, but cool. Like, we did. Our, ours is uh, <laughs> it's pretty disturbed. There's this one scene that's really disturbing, and um, I have a feeling a lot of people will wind up getting up and walking out. Or they're like, what we want is even we want, in the we want people scene. to love it or to hate it. Like mm-hmm. if you hate it, no middle. Cool. You know, if, <laughs> if people get, like get up and say that nah, was alright, then we didn't make a good film. You know, mm-hmm. like, but I guarantee you. People will say they love it or they hate it. Yeah. Is there in the back of your head? Is there ever that little bit of um, thought that says, you know, I don't want people to think, you know, I'm sick in the head, so maybe I should tone it down a bit, or you just like fuck it, I don't no. give a shit. No, yeah, we were we were all about yeah. yeah like, let's no just do it up. Yeah, no shame. Yeah, people no, were yeah. telling me that that shit fucking when I was five years old, man. Yeah. You know that's. It's time to get the vision out there. All right, good. And then what is I, what is R too if you're not making exactly what you want to fuck? Especially yeah. if you're, you know if, what I'm saying? If you're like, controlling it and you're afraid you're of like, oh, it. is someone going to get mad? Like, yeah, and these guys knew what they wanted to make too. And I think what's cool about this movie is the way what I've seen it's coming out, it's their film. You know, there's so many films that try to be like somebody else. And obviously, you're going to have your influences. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's definitely and, influenced and, and, by a few films. Yeah, there's but, him, but they have their own touch to it. Especially yeah. this guy with his cinematography. It's it's uh, mwah. the RT <laughs> a little yeah. bit you know it's very it reminds me of I spit on your grave some of yeah. those like I, I think I might have mentioned that in the last time you we were here some yeah, of the shots I do that love that did, movie especially for this area too you know because we do live in a you know Schuylkill County is a beautiful area there's jack shit going on there yeah. but some of the shots that he got of the mountains and everything and I also think people from the area. I'm curious to see what people from the area are going to say about it. Because yeah. there's not really many horror nuts up our way. There are. But uh, some of the... Because I, I know there's going to be that lady that's like, Ooh, it was a movie that was filmed in my hometown. I'm going to watch it. She's like, what the fuck? Is yeah. Like, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Am I in the wrong movie? I love plays on those rocks. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Uh, so, when it comes to filming them, what was the biggest issue or obstacle or accidents that happened along the way? The, uh, worst, the, worst, the worst catastrophe. <laughs> I want to hear the worst uh, catastrophe that happened. Oh, my, oh God. my God. I know. I mean, it, so it, many it, things it are going think. through my if, head. If anybody ever tells you, and we're talking like Hollywood films, if there anybody ever tells you it's a smooth set, they're, they're a lying. fucking Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're um, lying through their teeth. I, I've worked on big budget films. I've worked on <laughs> no budget films, and it's always the same. Yeah. Just bigger, you know, bigger budgets. You have bigger assholes, and you know, there's more people yelling and screaming. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, more problems to deal with. But you know, ours, ours was we had a lot of production meetings, so it was know, like, smooth for the most right, part. Put it way, yeah, our, our first I think day, we over exaggerate. Our first day of shooting, we get to the location, and we were held up for six or seven hours because of rain. Yep. Oh God! So yeah, like right from like the right from the door, we were tell. like, but yeah, even damn, that, man. even being delayed that. You know, those six or seven hours, we got ten pages done. You know, shot of the movie on the first day, right out of the gate. So that's really, I didn't really complain about that. I was, I was actually happy that we got done what we got done. The one time the rain worked in our favor a little. Bit yeah, for it that did. One, one shot. It, it just started did. raining that for that little, little bit, bit, and then stopped. It was like, and we we took advantage of that. Yeah. Yeah. we were like, let's you get know, this right now. We have to get it's like dry, and then it starts raining for like three seconds. Well, you can't do anything about it. it. It was an effect scene too, so you can't. Now you're like, oh, but well, it worked so good too. You, you know, shoot it all what? over. No, we couldn't. It was a one shot deal. Yeah, and it was. It worked, man. Like I mean, yeah. it worked. That. 
And I think it, in the that. final edit, you know, it, it kind of intensifies. The yeah, scene, it does. Yeah, you know, it just that, starts raining at that right part. That's, yeah. that's awesome. And, yeah, you, yeah. and you're looking at it, and you're like, Keeping I going. remember looking at it through. The, he was showing it to me just on the camera, and I'm looking at it on the screen. You know, it's about three, four inches big, yeah. and I'm like, yo, that looks fucking sick. Yeah, like, it, it, like, it, it looks so fake. You, you would you know? think that we set up like yeah, such like like a, yeah, yeah, machine. Machine. We really yeah. would, yeah. You know yeah. He said, it's funny you said that because people are going to be like, oh, they set up fake rain for yeah. the wow. Look at the production. <laughs> like, they got rain coming. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, also, how did you do sound? Did you do that um, separately from the camera? or? Uh, yeah, we had yeah. a sound okay. recorder doing... Yeah, Sweet. recording all the sound on lav mics and the boom mic, and um, that's. Did you go out into like the woods and just record some of the nature? Yeah, some full right, and cool. all that. That's cool. Um, uh, that's where we are now in the awesome. sound design. Cool, cool. Yeah, uh, it's it's spot. We have like a few pickup shots, but like other than that, it's like in post right now doing all the sound. Yeah, all right, We're, cool. He's doing a lot of the sound work by himself now. Yeah. You're, um, yeah, you're covering a lot of it, right? Yeah, he's, that's what I keep telling a lot of people ask you know, me. Here's, here's what I kind of say to everybody yeah. who's listening, and you know, everybody was like, "Oh, I thought it was coming out this." Well, when you only have two, three people doing your post work, and you don't have like you, you don't know, have a color correction, yeah. you don't have a sound production guy, you don't have you know, it's polishing it you know, up. You know, it's effect. like it, it, it's the most lank, lanky, um, lengthy. Is that a word? Lengthly? Lengthly. Lengthy. 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 It's the most lanky. (laughs) Well, most lanky uh, part of the production phase, you know, the post, uh, you know, just the post production, you know, you got the video and the audio both, and then the, uh, the scoring. You're painting the picture. Yeah. 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 The the goal is to have it done this, like, (laughs) by the end of the summer. Yeah. All right. So. There, there will be some sort of screening yeah, we're for thinking. like our cast and crew and family and friends. Um, we, but then after that, are we like, invited to that? Or? Yes, for All right. sure. Cool. Um, well, we actually sure. want to do like a test screening too. You know, well, with, uh, we we do want to do a test screening for just a, a limited amount of people, yeah. just so we can get some feedback on it. Um, so you guys are more than welcome to be a part. All right, of that. awesome. Thank you. Wait, are you guys recording that? Cut that out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, um, but uh, we're not supposed to tell them what, <laughs> it, what fucking movie it's supposed to be. Yeah, no, it's cool. But, yeah, whatever. But, um... Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, it, like I said, it, the goal was to try to have it done by the summer. And it's, like I said, other than a little bit, like, small tweaks here and there, it's, it will be. People also don't um, realize, yeah, how much time it takes for stuff like this, especially when it's only, you know... And you know what? people it, working on it. It's very time consuming. It's been yeah. done for, quite, you know, quite some time, like... It's just not finished. Yeah, you want in your own head, vision. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, and you want to mo- make sure. I've seen like major movies get you know released that <laughs> seem like they're not fucking. The Hobbit. <laughs> What's that one? Grave Encounters too. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, That's what happened with the Hobbit, right? It's just like a green screen. Like there were some trolls on a green screen. Yeah. Fuck it. With big mouths. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, dude. But like that happens. Yeah, people yeah. just rush because they're getting paid and they don't even want to fucking do it. And yeah. then you get a piece of shit movie. And, and like you know, this is our first film co- you know, and collaboration together, mm-hmm. and it, it's got to be picture perfect you know it can't be half-assed or it ends yeah this on. is your resume here yeah. pretty much the people hey here's yeah pretty and much it is. Like, and again the trailer looked awesome i, I did you. watch it many times the trailer so. is very sick yeah. Yeah. yeah all right that's gonna be hard to say so steve <laughs> now in our closing thoughts anything you want to ask the guys um yeah so when it comes to the movie what was like the most costly thing about the movie for you guys probably Special effects. Special effects by far. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I would second that by, like, the food. I think there was a lot of money spent on the food. My that day rate sense. as well. Yeah, $5,000. 5000 a day. Yeah. Oh, I, got, I got that check for you. Though. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a while, but we got it. Yeah, we, we knew right from the very beginning when we read the script that special, it was a, it's a very it's heavy, heavy it's special very effects heavy. film. And, again, like, I wasn't going to come on to it unless we, we got to do it the way we wanted to do it. Um, and show everything. So, did he utilize a lot of um, a lot of uh, what are they called prosthetics, or did you do a lot of stuff just from scratch? Yeah. Well, whenever I do anything, um, I don't buy like. Prosthetics. All right, cool. I, yeah, because I, I know you're everything. really good at masks um, and all yeah, that. Yeah, so. we I mold it. Um, a lot of life casting, a lot mm-hmm. of life casting, like general gold, like general parts and Sweet. stuff like that. And, uh, you know, Buttholes. sculpting, like, you know, <laughs> private parts. And, yeah. Um, 
shit-stained balls. Uh, yeah, so... You should have a sex toy line for the movie. That'd be great. Yeah, we're we, gonna, we definitely yeah, do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's um, plenty of it. Backroad suckers. Backroad sluts. There we go. Backroad, Backroad butt plugs? Number Backroad nine. sluts. Yeah, yeah. yeah you get go. a butt plug with the Blu-ray. When it comes <laughs> but yeah, everything or we made. could just use your action figure as a butt plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything yeah. was made from, like, you know, sculpting and locating and molding and everything and um, a lot of like silicone was used, so like a lot of people when they do films like stick with like foam latex and latex. So um, <laughs> silicone is one of the most expensive things that you can use, but it's real. It's realistic. Like when you cut it, it looks real. And um, we went through almost that. 22 <laughs> gallons of blood yeah. at like 130 dollars a gallon. It takes me to make. Holy I make, I make my blood. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's always surprising to hear how much blood costs. So um, back well, to the. That's good hmm? blood. It's like I, when, the way I make it, it like washes out her clothes like that. Like we would wash their clothes at night and shoot the next morning. Yeah, and it's yeah awesome. his stuff know. came out very good. Um, it did. It doesn't stain on people. Nothing stains. sticky though. Yeah, uh, it's sticky, but I don't have to wear it. So, <laughs> cool. yeah, there's a there's a point when the blood was sticking to the, like the top of my eyes and I couldn't blink. I would have to like. <laughs> You know what? I you're have footage covered, of that too. You're just like covered in that for like hours, just sitting there, like you can't really touch anything. The best, wow. the best. And I was gonna bring up the T-shirt again. Uh, if people desire it, would you consider making prints of those for purchase? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, definitely. awesome. I was just thinking that because I was like, <laughs> well, shit, I might want one of those. <laughs> you want you one still of have those? The, you still have your shirt? Absolutely. All right, awesome. Yeah. yeah so maybe we'll have to see some prints. Now. So you, a lot. we got we action figures, T-shirts. What else? Posters, we'll special, special bundles. Right off his back. Yeah, 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 awesome. Yeah. Well, we also have a, a comic book uh, designer that's going to make a comic book for yeah. well, his short film, Hunting for Justice. Oh my god! Eventually, that's, that's actually a comic um, book version. That is one of my one. favorite trends going on right now. Is um old like horror movies or horror movies in general getting comic adaptations Ebon yeah. Press is doing yeah, you that. know about Fulci. that yeah. I don't know yeah. about yeah. that that's, yeah. it's amazing so yeah. I'm, yeah, that's we, awesome that you're looking have, into that as well we have an amazing artist that we met through a friend um, he's up in Canada uh, A he's just really good like at, like artwork and he just like he Came on and um, agreed to do like a, a hunt for justice comic book. That's and uh, he's like, like he's in the like whole comic book, so he's like he had a really good idea. What That's neat. Wanted. Yeah. Um, and then like pretty much like every film that we have, we're gonna bring on artists to do like comic books. You know, depending on how we want to. Like, do we want it to look realistic? Do we want it to look cartoony? What do you consider cover art, poster art, and that kind of style for anything? Uh, uh, it's really up to him. Yeah. You know, like we gave. A lot I'm always of, a like, fan of illustrated posters. Yeah, so. we like. I pretty much said, hey, like, run with it. You know, like, do whatever you want to do, and that'd be pretty cool. I would definitely want it to be more like, uh, you know, the EC uh, comic books. And mm -hmm. all that you that know, would be sick. Like. That kind of creep show, yeah, creep yeah. show, tales yeah. from the crypt. There you yeah. go, Baltimore uh, horror stuff. Like yeah. that, that stuff is it. The design is so awesome, you and you got to have the gooey letters. Yeah, that, that's just a given. <laughs> only yeah. gooey letters. Yeah, <laughs> only gooey letters. And I think you know these two movies are like the perfect, you know, comic book style movie. I guess not. I mean, they're not really comic booky, but like in a creep show kind of way. You know, I could see hunting for justice and back row being. You know, in that style comic. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. So, um, to wrap things up, where can people find information about Back Road? Um, do you have any Facebook. websites? Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Facebook. 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 All right, well, we'll make sure to have a link uh, to your Facebook page in the yeah. video. And, and the trailer. And all, all right, that. awesome. We have a trailer on Yeah, I, I have a poster that I made, um, what was it, like January or something like that. Maybe throw that mm -hmm. out there. I think it's posted on the Facebook. Yeah, so, I, no, I, I, I think I might have shared the original promo yeah, post. Yeah, 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 I redid it, and I, I oh, like okay. the way that this came out a lot better. I'm getting better at Photoshop, so yeah. the second one's it is better. It's way first. better. Really first cool. one's fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm embarrassed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know, it was real. It was real fun talking to you guys. Thank you for coming back on the show, uh, and Thank I'm sure we'll see you again in the future. To yeah. check up on you guys let's to see how everything went. Fucking food. Now, let's man. get some food. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Curious Cyclops. And Steve. Thank you for watching. Never sleep again. TV. Big smile for the. <laughs> <laughs>